What's going on everyone, Logan Law here and I'm gonna bring you a little bit of insight in my professional wrestling journey. Today I have a Zoominar with Chris freaking Hero, one of my all time favorite wrestlers who was formerly Cassius Ono in WWE. I used to love him in Ring of Honor and across all independents, the man is a phenom and a true mastermind when it comes to pro wrestling. So I can't wait to learn from him. I'm thinking about the same kind of cutoffs, the same kind of comebacks, the same exact kind of false finishes, whereas you don't want the fans to know the end of the story before you're finished telling it, right? Um, there, I mean, there is something to be said for anticipation in a pro wrestling match and then surprise. Those are the kind of two elements that we play with back and forth when putting matches together. Logan, what you got for us, pal? How are you? Good, good. Um, so my experience in wrestling, uh, I used to train at the Monster Factory when I was 16 years old um, for about six months. Life happened. I went to college, graduated from the University of Florida. I'm willing to put that on hold for a couple years and finally like pursue my dream. So the last six months I've been getting my body ready. What are your thoughts on, you know, moving wrestling schools? Like let's say bookings get stale for a little bit, or you feel like you've learned enough from this school. Is there like any specific timelines that you would say that you would allow yourself if you're trying to, you know, just keep taking the ladder and moving upward? One of the weird things in pro wrestling is how territorial people are sometimes. So there are certain schools that are like, you know, you can't go to any other school. Like you have to stay here. Um, and I under I can understand that at the start because when someone is learning pro wrestling, it is best to stick with one thing because there's so much, right? There's so many ways to learn pro wrestling. There's so much to do. Once you start having matches, you need to go other places. Even if it's just for a weekend, if it's just for a couple weeks, you need to hear other other people's opinions. Once you kind of get your feet underneath you, you have to go, you have to go to seminars. You have to drop in at other schools. You need your own identity. Uh, and I don't just mean like promo wise, like you need your own personal identity. Instead of doing three elbows, I need to do one elbow and win, or I need to introduce something new. That's when I started doing more pile drivers because I wanted something new that was effective and could win matches. And then, you know, and then I did too many pile drivers. But it, it takes it takes a while. To <laughs> Josh, what you got for me? What is one thing that you think that um, we could bring back from the older school wrestling psychology that's missing from modern wrestling? Uh, I think more people should wrestle, right? And what I mean by that is everyone is so quick to get into their spots and their kicks and their strikes and their hitting the ropes and whatever that they start the match at such a high level that they lose the opportunity to, to lock up, to struggle, to grab a hold, to wrestle. I'm beyond pleased with that seminar. Best $20 I've spent in a long time. I got about 12 pages of notes here. Chris talked about things ranging from production to match structure to character work to refereeing to commentary to questions just about what he misses in wrestling, what he likes about the current product. It was truly great. And shout out to Chris Brooker. He put all this together. His Twitter's at the Brooker man. He's gonna keep doing these Zoom seminars and I know that I'm gonna be attending every single one of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight into maybe not the most traditional wrestling seminar but definitely a very knowledgeable one. I hope to catch you all later in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and check out episode one of my professional wrestling journey, which is already on the channel. See y'all later.